Hi everybody, Daniel Clifton here with your Picayune Roundup. It's an Easter weekend to remember, but the celebrations have already begun. Check out these images from Cottonwood Shores Easter in the Park. There's Sparky the Fire Dog, the Easter Bunny, and Ella Font, who is the mascot for the Cottonwood Shores Library. Nearly 200 children and their families showed up for the event April 16th. If you missed this event, there are plenty more Easter festivities in Grand Shoals, Kingsland, and Marble Falls. First, we want to tell you about the great hunt going on in Kingsland. The hunt begins Saturday, April 23rd at Pack Saddle Elementary School, 748 Ranch Road 2900. For more information, go see the Kingsland Chamber of Commerce website at www.kingslandchamber.org. The Granite Shoals Police Officers Association hosting their annual hunt. It's part of the Children's Outreach Program. The event starts noon on Saturday at Highland Lakes Elementary School at the intersection of Ranch Road 1431 and Phillips Ranch Road. They are hiding 15,000 eggs with a few golden ones hidden in the mix. Officer Bunny will be on hand for photos. These festivities are for the whole family. Finally, the First Baptist Church of Marble Falls is hosting its community-wide Easter extravaganza. In Marble Falls, your family is invited to come out from 10 to noon on Saturday to La Ventana, where First Baptist Church is located. Eggs, candy, and the Easter Bunny are part of the event. Go south just past the Marble Falls Bridge, drive past 2147 intersection, and take the second right into La Ventana. Now let's mosey on over to Lano for our images on the Lano Crawfish Open this past weekend. As you can see, there was plenty of live entertainment. Stony LaRue stole the show. As usual, the crowds packed into the Parkside Pavilion to enjoy not only music, but lots of fun activities for the kids. Other events included crawfish team roping, golf, and of course all the mud bugs you could pack into one wild weekend. That was your roundup. Before I go, I'd like to wish the Picayune a happy birthday. The most popular feel-good publication in the Highland Lakes turned 20 this month. For the Picayune TV, I'm Daniel Clifton. Mm -hmm.